Well, that's just lethal, ain't it? By God. So we're gonna make this thing huge. Feed the swarm. Kill that. Royal eruption. Kill that. And that's just a, a two mana 12 12 swinging in. For that opponent. Oh, that's like some kind of fight card. Don't think so, friendo. Absolutely do not think so. How's it going, y'all? Titan Smash MTG here. Today we're back with some more standard action. This time we got a spicy one. This is Rakdos Scourge. So Rakdos Scourge is all around our Death Stratos little friend here. This is Scourge the Skyclaves. It's a two mana star star. Power and toughness is equal to 20 minus the highest life total among players. So say if we're at a game where 10 all, each person has 10 life. You have a two mana 10 10 here. Uh, and basically what we're trying to do here is get, get an Embercleave on this bad boy and go to town. Uh, really neat interactions here with Scourge if you have Embercleave because you do that damage and say that they had the higher life total than you. That'll boost your power up that much more for your next on the other strike with the uh, Embercleave there and make the damage go for even more damage there. So basically what we're doing is we're playing an aggressive deck that has the Embercleave plan going on to it. So we're still playing Fervent Champs, Scourge of Skyclave here, Robert the Rich, uh, Skyclave Shade. Just kind of, you know, an aggressive Rakdos build here. But we're doing little things that hurt ourselves. We have Malakir Rebirth, just a one mana answer to keep a creature of ours alive. Does two damage to ourselves. Uh, we can do damage to ourselves with Shatter Skull Smashing and Agadine's Awakening. We have Removal here and Feed the Swarm, which is one you've probably not seen. Uh, two mana kill any heart creature enchantment opponent controls and you lo lose life equal to that permanence, permanence converter mana cost. So, a lot of different ways here and Agonizing Remorse is again multiple different ways to pay life to hurt yourself kind of thing so that way we can ensure that while we're doing damage to the opponent we're lowering our life total too uh so it's a spicy one there land count a bit weird on this we have 11 12 but then you have eight here so you got 20 21 22 23 24 there's actually you know a decent number of lands here but yeah we're basically just an aggressive rectos deck here but if we can make the scores just a sky claves thing work that's hard to say uh then it's pretty cool so we play this in just some unranked best of one uh, going forward, my, my, my video schedules might be changing a little bit here. Been filming the burnout. You know, I posted about this, as some of you all have seen. I talked about it on Twitter. The burnout's getting to me here a little bit with Magic in general. That I'm just not enjoying them. I, I don't like being that person, so that's why I'm trying not to like complain about it too much. But I just don't enjoy Magic in the battle right now all that much. Um, so instead of putting stress on me to have to like jump into rain to play on the ladder all the time in a meta that's not even really fun for me to play in, Figure we may do some games with some more off-the-wall decks like this one that are more creative. Um, we saw some more fun with that and kind of just show off, hey, this is what this deck can do. And then if it has good potential here and it pops off, then hey, we'll play this on the ladder and take it into ranked. But at least here we don't have to worry about tanking or ranked to try to play some fun decks. Because in the end, that's what I'm here for is to show you all the new innovative deck ideas. Um, I don't have the time to grind Mythic like I used to anyways back when I was over the summer. And I could work from home all the time. So even though I've been, you know, top 200 Mythic player multiple seasons kind of thing, I just don't have the time to do that anymore. So we'll still be playing. We'll still be having some good gameplay here, hopefully. But we may be uh, pushing the schedule back a little bit and doing some different kind of game styles here. But we'll see what we can do. But anyways, let's take this in there. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. All right, game number one against Tommy in. Let's see how this goes. Let's get some scores going on here. Um... Gosh, the, the mana's here is a bit awkward, but I'm going to keep it. I think I'm just playing this Temple on one. In the dark, I'm going to drop that. Play a Roberto this next turn. Gruel, do you say? I do love me some Gruel. Okay, they top that, so that makes me feel even better about it. So let's go ahead, play Roberto... Swing in. What'd you keep up top of land? Ooh. Did you need that land? Be funny if they miss the land now. Of course they don't. Of course we just hit the mountains or the forest. Oh, okay. You want to try to take my cards too? Well, it don't work this time. Okay. So we have a two mana card here. So... I think I play this and then hold up Malakir Rebirth. Nah, we just play the robber. Trigger, trigger. That's Questing Beast. That is a, another land. Could we kind of want to get into a little bit of a damage race here? Because it's just making our, our swords of the Skyclaves bigger. 
So if I hit us here, this will be a two mana four four. But if I hit us for more, it could be like a two mana six six if they went to another robber. And we do have the advantage here that our robbers are uh, foil, where theirs are just plain Jane art. So, okay. Okay, we got tap land there. We'd like to see that. They probably got a stomp. Yeah. Real original guy. Royal Eruption, not a bad one. Here, I think we're just playing this two mana foe fo. Actually, what was Exile here? Yeah, let's just play this two mana four four. Not hitting land so far. Do this, do this. Swang on them. We have hit three lands and one creature. Annoying. <laughs> They just play a love struck, or sorry, not love struck beast. They just play a bone crusher giant. We can kill it. Go about our day. We could agonizing remorse just to boost this up to a five five, which is kind of hot. Like a lot of those weird and neat tricks of the scores of the sky clays you can do here. Pulling it deep in the tank. Shocking in. What is your quest? So no blocks here. We take that. That makes us stronger. We have this feed the swarm. Oh man, can we just... Well, that's just lethal, ain't it? By God. So we're going to make this thing huge. Feed the swarm. Kill that. Royal eruption. Kill that. And that's just like a two mana 12 12 swinging in for victory. Good first game there. Let's go ahead and play that. Game number two against Top Hat Mike. Not a, not a baseball cap, not a cowboy hat. This is Top Hat Mike. On the play again, we like that. Opener, two lands. We just need to draw some more lands, but we have pretty much all two mana plays here just about, so we'll take it. Play red right here, pass the turn. Forest, the beast, the beast from down east. I think we play a shade here. Play shade, ass turn. Next turn, we could just demonic embrace it, which may be the play. If they have problemite, they can kill it, but it's not not a huge deal if that's the case. I kind of like the idea of just embracing, swinging, and then getting to play a big old Skyclave later on here. I hope they don't kill this shade, but if they do, it's not, again, not the end of the world. This gets plus three, plus one, which is kind of bad for us. So, meh. Meh. Man. Just having to reach, that really blows. That sucks. That's so annoying. So I think we've gotta, gotta stomp this. And we just play this tap for now. Agony's Awakening, by the way, can do some pretty neat things in this deck. Here comes Love Strike Beast. Yorbo, okay. That's not too scary. Awakening once again. So, let's go ahead and equip this up. I could have shocked in here to hold up the spike field hazard, but I just don't think we really care that much about it. Get him down, and if they start swinging here and making this a race, again, the scores of Skyclaves will be huge. Huge! Now, if they have any kind of fight spell, once again, kind of blows for us. Okay, Beast. Okay. Say, so where's our damn Embercles, man? So we have the lowest life total for now. Can we play this as a 6 6? I think I'm just shocking this in. 
so I can play Bone Daddy. Now we have a 10-10. Two mana 10 10 seems pretty good and seems pretty hard to kill. If only this would. Oh, that is any target. So they're dead next turn if they don't have removal. If they try to kill this Bone Crusher Giant, they take damage. Let's see what they got. This is, does such a good job of putting them in such an awkward position. And again, just you don't expect to see powerful cards like this amount of power and toughness with the mana cost that it has. It's just kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, crazy. Because Undo Mammoth scares me 0%. Like, the only thing that really scares us here is a fight spell, killing your Skyclave Shade. But then we just pay life to make this fly? I think a flying Skyclave seems pretty decent since they have no reach, right? Yeah, they're dead. So, a little annoying here. This means they got rammed through, I'm assuming. You gotta swing these. Like this. So I think we do keep it alive. We can use all of our mana this turn. Now they got 12-12 to deal with because we took two more life. Which could make some of their blocks kind of awkward here. But they probably just single jump block here at this point. I guess they were trying to play around Ember Cleave there. So now it's a bit awkward. They've got two cards in hand. And I think just to make sure this Love Strike Beast can't attack, we play this Robber as a jump blocker, and then we roll Eruption there. This way they've only got three cards in hand, they're going to have to get rid of some things here. And just make their answers really limited to make sure that this Demonic Embrace can get on the Scourge of the Sky Clays and we swing with a 15 power. 15 power creature. Please, please just tap out and play that. That's a, that's a, oh god. Well. Wow. Well done opponent. Top deck champ, holy shit. That's, uh, seven damage. Oh, wait, no, they go to one. So, you're saying there's a chance. No. Uh, we had, we had draws that were live here to kill them. Dang, that sucks. All right. Good job. Opponents, it's the top deck, top deck master over here. They get us there. Let's go ahead and play another. All right. Game number three here against Darko. Against Donnie Darko. Let's take him on. Be on the play here. Uh, no black source, but it's mostly red cards in hand anyway. A little, little mana heavy, but we have a turn one play here. We have removal here if they have something, so I think I still keep it. Swing on. Pass turn. Love a black source. I can just agonize your morse here. Swarm Shambler, you say? That's not a black source. Let's go to tax here first off. Don't really want to kill that thing yet, so I think we just play this tapped. Pass turn. Primal Might here is pretty annoying. Okay, Stone Coil. Okay. Not a bad draw. Um, again, I don't know where a black mana has ran off to. Let's go and swing here, see how they block. If they don't like triple block here, they could do that. It'd be kind of weird, but... 
Um, I think I just roller up to the Stone Cold Serpent now, right? They'll get an insect token. But those insect tokens can't match up to our fervent champion! Untap land next turn means they don't do anything here. Okay, well now anyways. Let's see what other free value they get here. They could just uh, activate Swarm Chambler. Rough. Rough. Can we get an untapped land, please, so I can, like, kill two of these things? Thank you. Thank you so much, game. X is two. Do it to you. And might as well do this to you. Just to... Ah. Do it to you and do it to you. Then hope to attack through you. I think I like that better. Kill them little critters. Get to attack them. Finally got a black source for the Skyclave Shade. Your is pretty good. They would man, they probably got a fight spell or something. I'm assuming they have no attacks here. Okay, Academe's Awakening is pretty unimpressive right here, honestly. Um, but I do think we play out Skyclave Shade here. They're, they're holding up the priority to activate that thing, I'm pretty certain. Let's go ahead and a little agonizing more, see what they're working with here. Yeah, Great Hinge is a, it's a no from me, dog. Now we gotta find a way to push through damage here, though. Because this ain't gonna get it done as it stands. Really good turn from there to be able to, like, creature, creature, cobra, do another thing. Amber Cleave? Let's play this tab for now. Yeah, if we don't draw Ember Cleave, we're going to lose this. Yep. And this is what sucks about Swarm Shambler now, is like even if they just brick off like they've been doing, uh, they can do little nothing here and still get away with it. I don't know why their coward ass isn't attacking here, though. There you go, opponent. Good grief. You got a 4-4 you got a four, four and a five, 5-5. Five. This can't block. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, now we're getting somewhere. We're just going to play this. We're just going to play this out. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kind of tempted to just make this, like, kick this. But I think we just play this to 7-7 seven, seven for now. If they top deck a fight spell, then it sucks. But it is what it is. attacks. Swarm Shambler just keeps on growing. Again, we do play Ember Cleave somewhere in here, so maybe. Do I, do I trade this for like a potential card draw? Guess they're not going to give us the option here. Okay. That's fine. No real good attacks here because this is trades one for one with all of these. So we're just going to pass the turn again. Just hope to eventually draw an Ember Cleave. And I got to look. Maybe this deck just plays one Ember Cleave. At least that's what it feels like. But if that's the case, my god, we got to add more in here. Embrace is a good card. Embrace is a mighty good card. I think we do it on the shade, so that way the scourge of the sky claves can still uh, hold back and block. Nothing they have has reach here. Swing for six, but it's not blocking anyways. Now we got us a nine nine over here. I just want an ember cleave, man. Scooz is very annoying because they gain some life. Okay, 
The Agadim's Awakening is basically dead now. Oh boy. Y'all y'all got it, any of them any of them ember cleaves? Out of way opponent. Out of way. Gain four life here is pretty frustrating. On the play the queue. Hello! Go! Okay, good, good work, bud. Really just killing the game. So we'll do this, take the rest of the damage, go to five. Now they can eat one of those. Stormfist ain't what we wanted to see here, but it's a it's a blocker. So let's see here. If I go to the attacks here. Then play this. Wait, well, none of these have trample. This gets so big they can't really remove it. So I do this, hold three blockers black. I think that's the play. I think I even swing here too and kind of force them to... Well, they just jump there though. Let's just hit them here. Hit them where it hurts. Fifteen, fifteen. We just gotta not go to one this next turn. They got one top deck. Let's see what it is. As long as it's not like Great Hinge. Great Hinge would be the worst thing. Great Hinge and uh, you know any kind of removal is obviously bad. All right, opponent, what you got? Hey. I'm sure y'all can't see in the video, but this is the slowest opponent I've ever met in my freaking life. We block like this. That seems like a really bad attack if that's all you had. I mean, yeah, you can gain another life. Okay, I mean, this does keep them sort of alive for not really. Okay. Oh, nice. Great game. That's seven opponent. Lordy. Hopefully my editing doesn't show you how slow this player was, but this was terrible to play against, my god. Let's go ahead and play one more. Maybe two more, we'll see. Let's go. Alright, next game here against Shax. See if we can't take them down. Opener here. Okay, we have black mana and red mana, so like how do we not keep that, right? We can play this mountain here to hold up spike field hazard too, which is cool. So yeah, I'm actually liking this hand a lot. Okay, so here we'll play a black source, pay three life, play the Crusader S turn. The next turn, hopefully we can get the uh, Scourge down, start smashing, smashing face. Nope, just kidding. When do they not have Bone Crusher, right? Like, when is that not a thing? So, I think we're just playing... Playing the shade here. Throwing a little shade on them. And I'm just going to play this tapped. Oh, I should. I meant to. Oh, no, 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 no. I meant to play the spike field hazard. I mean, I guess it's nice to have it, but that was not the play that I was meant to go for there. I meant to play this one. Yep. Oh, okay. No lands for him. So this means. And we drew an untapped here, which is. Actually kind of irrelevant really, but play this. Play this. Then we'll just hold up stomp. I could play another shade, but I want to hold up some removal here since they're missing on lands. It's a land. But you got opponent. Oh, if that's like some kind of fight card. Don't think so, friendo. Absolutely do not think so. 
Now we swing in. Get him down. We have a 5-5. Five five. Play this out. Hold up spike field hazard. Seems good. And we get there. GG. Uh, let's take a look at the deck list one more time. I, maybe I'll play another one. I'm not sure. We'll see. Alright. For sure, last game of the day here against any key. Because I can sing any key. Didn't say it'd be good, though. Uh, we'll keep this. We got a fervent champion into a skyclave shape. It's value, baby. Look at this. Our, our scourge we played one, but already have some power on it. I just want a day where you don't answer my stuff. Card for card, man. Can that day come, please? Skyclave shade coming down. Mono red opponent here. They probably got a stomp now. Like, why wouldn't they? Okay, Fervor Champ. Go ahead and play a second one. I know you got it. Or your spike field hazard, which is even worse. Okay, that's annoying. Good attacks here. Oof. Oof. No attacks here. Just play another shade. Throw some shade on them. All right. Well, if we can get a red source here and our stuff not get killed, Emmercles live. Okay, it's an annex. Red source, please. I meant. Okay, like I meant tap source. I understand that I didn't really say that properly. Uh, this still isn't terrible, though. Let's go ahead exile this so it don't even matter. Let's go ahead and go to attacks here first. Swing on them. We'll do one life to herself. Then, oh my god, can you not? Pony! No, I was going to take your Scorching Dragon Fire and then make you top deck. Alright, that was the last game there. Let's go take a look at that glitch one more time. All right, y'all, so that's it. Recto Scourge, really fun deck there, and actually performed pretty well as a, a reasonable deck. Um, this actually kind of motivates me. I know there's, like, Recto's uh, Escape already going around in the meta anyways, but something with Scourge and Skyclays I think I may want to play because this actually was a very impressive card. Um, it lined up online a lot more times than I thought it would, uh, with the meta being so full of things like Mono Green Aggro and, and such. Uh, a lot of times you're both be going to be doing damage battles anyway, so I think Scourge and Skyclays could be a real card here. Uh, one thing here, we only have two Ember Cleave. Looking back at it now, uh, we gotta have four Ember Cleave. Like, there were so many games there where it's just like, if we get the Ember Cleave, we probably win. We just didn't really find it. So, I think we can take care of, take out some of this stuff. Like, maybe Malakir Rebirth. That, that, I get why it's there. Uh, but just a little bit too cute. Or maybe these Royal Eruptions. I think four is just a little bit too heavy for that. So, actually, let's do a live deck tech here. Minus two. Change this. Plus two. Bam. Deck is fixed. Deck is insane now. 100% win rate deck now. Never lost with this version whatsoever. Uh, but I hope you all enjoy. If you take it into best of three or anything, let me know how it does. I'd be curious to see how that works. Uh, that's it. Hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Let's go.